Hey, what's up everyone? Gerald here with Blades and Bait. Out here at the little park. Surprisingly, I haven't did uh, very much out here. Uh, this was uh, the same place that where last year I caught me all those bass, catfish, crappies. This year, not so much. In fact, I haven't even caught me my first catfish for the year. We'll give it a shot, see what we can do. Talk to you later. So if you guys are looking for some really unique and original, all custom designed tees, anything from your fishing, patriotic, Christian based, and just funny t-shirts, t-shirts like this, all designed by me or my wife, come check it out at lumenpath.net. And thank you very much guys for all your support. Yep, here we are at the little park. It's another chilly, overcast day. Today's high is supposed to be only about 48. So, we'll give it a shot. Hopefully we can do more than just bluegills. Be using small number six bait holder hook with one split shot and a clear bobber. This one is actually made for trout fishing and as well as uh, catching steelheads. And it uh, works more like a fixed bobber. There's actually two rings on here that you attach it to. Well, I just picked up a whole batch of minnows. We'll give it a shot with uh, minnows first. Yep, and with me, I always like uh, sticking right through the body and right underneath the dorsal fin because to me it just gives it a lot more action than if you nose hook it that's just my personal opinion Caught something. <laughs> oh, caught us crappie. Tiny guy, but still caught us crappie. There we go, folks. First catch of the day. Tiny little crappie. Only about a seven inch crappie. Oop, oop. There we go. You know, I think I'm going to switch out my bobber to a slip bobber. Seems like uh, this one, it doesn't hold too much weight. It keeps uh, sinking to the of sink that's the only thing that I don't like about the slip bobber is that you actually have to tie it onto the line I think I'll be using this one right here and I already have a bobber stop on there so all I need to do is just run it through I'm just going to use a basic clinch knot And what I like to do, I like to run it through a couple more times here. Of course, you want to moisten line and pull it tight. There we go. There we go. Let's try it out with a slip bobber, see if that works any better. Well, so far, nothing yet on the minnow. I guess I'll just uh, try it out with all your old-fashioned worms. See if we can catch a, a bluegill or something. See if we can catch this. See if we can switch it up here and try using a worm. There we 
ago. Something's on the worm on the first cast. There we go, folks. There we go. <laughs> Tiny, itty bitty little bluegill. Oh, at least we're catching something. Not much. That's only about five inches. Oh, at least we caught on something. The weather is finally clearing up, the sun is coming out, and it stopped raining. Hopefully we can do better than this morning. We didn't do too bad. We still caught a few bluegills and a crappie. We're out here at the little pond by my house. So I'm hoping to catch a bass. I'm hoping to do better out here. Talk to you later. You know, I am going to use some gulp minnows. Let's try the one lure that never failed me so far. Berkeley gulp minnows. I have be using me this little two inch gulp minnow. See if I have better luck with a gulp minnow than I do with the live ones. There we are. Let's give the gulp minnow a try here. Yes, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go, folks. <laughs> Not very big, but. <sighs> Wow, definitely puts up a good fight for a little guy. Well, it's actually not a bad size too. It's about a six inch bluegill. There we go, folks. Six inch bluegill. Well, Spent about 20 minutes using the minnow and not even a nibble on it. So time to get back with the basics again. One thing for sure, if nothing else is biting, usually I still can catch something using the worms. There we go. <laughs> yep. Oh, this one's a green sunfish. A little bit bigger than the others that we've been catching. This one is about eh, six and a half, seven inches maybe. Not too shabby. There we go. <laughs> Another tiny blue eel. Yep. Another about five inch blue eel. So one thing for sure, first I know they're just a bunch of blue eels, but again. When nothing else is biting, at least you're catching something. Well, I guess that's the way it works sometimes. Spent the whole day, caught me a few bluegills and one crappie. Oh well, we'll just give it a shot some other time. Anyway guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that like and uh, leave your comments down below. And uh, consider subscribing folks for some more fishing, knives, 
and kit videos. You guys take care. I'll talk to you later.